Good morning, Room 207 students. How are you doing today? And I'm here today, and I'm going to finish up our science um, lesson from yesterday. And this is the final lesson for the soils unit. And we were looking at collecting and looking at our um, local soil. And we were thinking about the tests that we had done in the past and the evidence from those tests that we can use to determine what is in our local soil. So we're going to do those same three tests again and we did those yesterday. I modeled them for you and today has been a day that's gone by so we'll get to look at our um, tests and see what has changed with the settling test and we'll see if the ball has actually stayed in our ball. Okay, and I wrote the focus question today because I'm inside and not out there where it's loud and noisy and I actually have more tools accessible to me. So I wrote it bigger so you can read it and we can read it together. And we'll just read it once today since we read it twice yesterday. What evidence have we collected from our soil tests that will help us identify what is in our local soil? Okay, so if you didn't write it yesterday, go ahead and pause the video and you can write it now. Okay, and our important words are local soil and evidence. And the three tests that we did was, and these are tests that geologists would do in the field if you call one up to come and um, check your soil sample to see if what it has in it depending on what you want to do, whether you want to garden or farm or build something. Okay, so we did the roll test and the ball test. We did the settling test and we did the smear test. And those are three simple tests that you can do to try and figure out what is in your soil. Okay, so from those tests, we remember and we can look back in our folders and see what happened when we tried to roll them into a ball. Which one stayed and which one didn't? What color were the smears? And what did the settling test look like? Okay, and what it looked like a day later. With still organic matter floating at the top and still a little cloudy for the clay. Okay, so based on that, I'm going to go ahead and start my writing, okay? And when I write in science, I always uh, start out with what I noticed and what I observed. So the first one would be I notice, okay? And I'm noticing that my, and I'm going to talk about the ball first. I'm noticing in my ball test that my soil sample rolled into a ball. I noticed my local soil rolled into a ball and stayed in a ball after one day. Okay, that's my first sentence. So you're going to start, I noticed, or I notice, and then my local soil. That is in your focus question. So you can just copy it from there. Okay, and then you're going to tell me what is in, what your ball did, or the test you picked to talk about. Okay, and then your second what I asked you to do this yesterday. You can say the my results show, my evidence shows, I'm going to say results because results, I'm going to change it. Results is right there. So what else does my results show? And then I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to talk about the smear test. My results show that my smear is dark with some 
white stripes. Okay. And then yesterday I said do three sentences, but I'm going to have you do four because there's three tests and then the fourth one is going to be your conclusion. So my your second sentence is going to start my results show and then your third sentence is going to say also and now I'm going to talk about my third test which I haven't talked about yet in the settling test. And my settling test it's still cloudy and there is material floating at the top. So I'm going to say what I see. I'm going to write what I see. Also in the settling test in the settling test I see wood at the water line remember the water line is where the water stops and the water is cloudy. Okay? So all of these words except for also and I notice are right in your chart. Settling test, smear test, roll test, and or ball test. So you can take the words from your results chart and spell correctly in your writing. So my fourth sentence is going to be my conclusion and it's going to start therefore just like our opinion pieces did therefore I think and I'm going to say what I think with because what my conclusion is I think my local soil has clay because it's in a ball it's still in a ball oops I'm gonna run out of room still in a ball and humus because I see, do I have another one of these? Maybe in the math bin. Oops, that was probably loud. Because I see wood floating in the on the water. And when we did this in the settling test, we had wood floating on the water. And you can reference that. And the third one. And that's it. I think my local soil has clay because it's still in a ball and humus because I see wood floating at the on the water. And that's it. And maybe there is a little sand. I have to look at the bottom and see if there's some sand. And if I see some sand at the bottom, which is where it was in our settling test, I can write about that too. But I think my local soil has mostly clay because it's still in a ball and humus because I see wood floating on the water and maybe a little bit of sand because of the white stripes. Right, the evidence of the smear test. Bit of sand because of the white stripes in the smear test. So there you go, that's my paragraph and 
This is your final writing piece for science. And you would go ahead and reread it, just like you would do all your good writing. Okay, let's see if we would look. Okay, so you can do four sentences about your writing. And the first sentence starts, I notice my local soil. The second sentence starts, my results show. And then you can stick a fourth one in there. You should stick a fourth one in there, fourth one in there that says, um, also. And then your last one is going to be, therefore, I think. And you're going to say, because. Okay, so this is our last lesson, like I said. You learned so much. I'm so glad we got through almost all of it, except for this lesson, virtually. Uh, we went to the Mercer Slough, which was wonderful, uh, before our winter break, our midwinter break. And uh, you learned a lot about FBIs there, and you got to um, touch some soil samples there as well. And... Um, yeah, so have a good rest of your day, and uh, we'll do some more science, but um, next week we're going to be doing some social studies. And, um, okay, I miss you all very much, and uh, good luck with all your science.